friends. Hello, hi, how are you? I hope you guys are having an amazing day today and Merry Christmas. Um, it's Christmas. I hope you guys all had an amazing Christmas. For me, it's Christmas morning and I just opened all of my stuff and I decided to film this video. I'm sorry if I'm red and sweaty. I just carried all of this up the stairs and it was a lot. Um, so today we are going to do a what I got for Christmas haul. This is my third year doing a what I got for Christmas haul. I don't like disclaimers and I'm really not going to do one, but if you're offended by people getting gifts, don't watch this. You're just hurting yourself. It's Christmas. Don't make yourself angry. Don't get yourself in a tizzy. Yes, my mom's extra for Christmas. She has always been like this. If that's gonna offend you and morally make you unhappy, don't watch the video. I'm not gonna apologize for having my family having a large Christmas. Um, but with that being said and getting all of that out of the way, don't put negativity in my comments. You will be blocked. It's Christmas. Be happy, okay? Um, we're gonna get started. So the fr I'm sitting on the floor because I just think it'll be easier to show you guys stuff. It was actually the last gift we opened, but Charles and I, these really big, really nice suitcases. Uh, his is in black and mine is in this beautiful shade of pink, which is like currently my favorite shade. We got these because my parents knew that I got him tickets to Europe for Christmas. I got him tickets to, we're flying it out of JFK to London and then we're going to Paris in February. And so they knew we needed new luggage because mine is like so broken and he doesn't have any. So they got us luggage. So he got a nice black suitcase and I got a nice pink one. And I'm literally so excited. I've always wanted one of these like hard shell suitcases. So I'm very excited. And then they also got me, this one was kind of like a non-makeup one, um, but they surprised me with this. It's a, it's a too smoky glow, love mom and dad. And it's a like doormat that says hi friends on it, which I think is like the cutest thing of all time. I can't wait until we can put this out because I think it is just so, so sweet. They're so supportive of my channel and it's like the cutest thing in the world. They're like so proud of me and I love it. Um, and then my sister got me an Ugg blanket. It's just a very soft blankie. And my mom actually also got me this blanket. I, basically everything I got was cozy. Um, they know that I love Land's End blankets because they're kind of this like fuzzy material on this side and then a like Sherpa. Oh my God, it's so soft. <laughs> and like a Sherpa material on this side. So they did get, my mom got me one of these and these are like my favorite favorite blanket. She has them at her house. I'm obsessed. And then kind of going with the travel theme. A few months ago, I was on Instagram and I got an ad for a brand that uses recycled material to make like a luggage. And I thought they were the coolest looking things. And I loved the concept of it. So I did get this duffel bag. It's this cool yellow color. And I just think it's really cool. My dad hated it. He thought it was ugly, but I think it's really cool. I think it's like a cool little like duffel. And this can also be a carry on for trips because it fits the like carry on thing. Then it also came with this matching backpack that I think is so, so cool and fun for travel. I just thought that was so neat. I don't own a lot of like luggage because I haven't really ever traveled. I mean, I travel, but I've been to a lot of places, but like recently in my adult life, my fear of flying has like really crippled my ability <laughs> to travel places. But this year I have a lot of really fun trips planned and I'm really excited about that. I'm excited to start traveling more. So I was really excited to get this because I think it'll help inspire me a little bit having like cool luggage, you know? And in this backpack, I did put a lot of my stocking stuffers, mostly just got like candy. Yeah, mostly got like candy and little like ass things in my stocking. And I got these straws, reusable straws. Honestly, never have enough reusable straws. My boyfriend got me a few things from Ivory Ella. Um, he did get me one of the long sleeve shirts. Ivory Ella, if you don't know, one of my favorite brands, just because all of a lot of the proceeds go to saving the elephants when you buy their clothing. And elephants and pandas are my two favorite animals. So I was really excited about this. And then he also got me this. I've already been wearing it because it came in the mail and I opened it because it was, it, I didn't know it was, I didn't know it was a Christmas present. So I opened it. But um, this is like a fleece quarter zip. And again, my favorite pink color that I love. And it has the little Ivory Ella logo on it. And I've already been wearing the crap out of this. It's so freaking comfortable. And then I also, he also got me this little elephant mug from Ivory Ella and it says make your own luck on the back. And I think this is just so freaking cute. I love mugs. So I was very excited about that. My boyfriend knows me very well. He also adopted me a panda. I totally forgot about it, but he also actually adopted a panda for me uh, through this organization. I'll link it down below so you guys can see, but he adopted a panda. I basically have adopted a panda for a year and they sent you like a little stuffed panda and they send you like a picture of it and like what its name is and what breed it is and like who you're actually helping, what panda. And I just thought that was really sweet. It was a really good gift. Then I got this little Nike 
hoodie. It's a little bit of a cropped hoodie, but I think it's so cute and so cozy. You guys know I love hoodies. Um, I also got these really cute little moccasin slippers. I was very excited about. This is my mom surprised me with. I think she found it. She must have found it on sale at like Nordstrom. And she knows I love like really large black totes. So she got me a Calvin Klein, this like large black tote. Looks so freaking beautiful. Again, for traveling purposes, this is perfect. I love, love tote bags to travel with because you can just throw all your crap in it and it makes it so much easier. But it's got like a really interesting brown inside, which I don't have any bags like this. And I thought the details on it were really cool. I was very excited about this. I didn't, she, never, she doesn't usually buy me purses. So I was surprised. So I was like, ooh. Um, and then I also got... <laughs> I got a hydro flask. I actually asked for this. I really, really wanted a hydro flask. I really just want to be a visco girl, even though I'm 24 years old. I want to be a visco girl. Um, so this was my hydro flask that I got. I'm really excited about it. I can't wait to put stickers on it. I actually got a sticker from Ivriella that I think would look so cute, like right here. <laughs> right? So cute. I can't wait to decorate this with stickers and just become the visco girl that I was meant to be. Now all that's left is makeup. First thing, well I guess this is technically not makeup, but every Christmas, if you'll know if you've watched the past couple hauls, um, I always ask for a perfume because perfumes last forever and I feel like I'm slowly accumulating a perfume collection by asking for a perfume every year. This year's perfume I asked for was Gucci Bloom. I smelled it in store and I just thought it smelled so nice and I also love the packaging on this. I think it's just so, so cute. And it's very weighted. It feels very lux luxe. It smells so good. Oh my God, I love it. it smells like a department store. Oh, I love it. So I did get Gucci Bloom that I was really, really excited about. And then I also got the Fenty Beauty Gloss, Glossy Posse <laughs> set. Um, I asked for this one too, because I really wanted to try. There's a couple in here that I was like so excited about. Um, that I knew she wasn't gonna sell in the full size. I really wanted to try this like hot pink one and I also loved this more like deeper one but it comes with five little mini gloss bombs. The gloss bomb formula is definitely one of my favorites as far as lip glosses go. Very excited to receive this. I was so hype. The next thing I got was a Patrick Ta blush. Uh, this is in the shade She's Passionate. I have been eyeing these for forever, so I'm so happy that I got one. It looks like this. It has this beautiful mirrored rose gold packaging, and then the blush. Oh, this looks so pretty. The blush itself is this beautiful kind of like light coral color. I just think it looks so beautiful. Patrick Ta's brand is so like my aesthetic that I'm really <laughs> been enjoying it. I think it looks so, so pretty and I'm so excited to play with that one. I also received the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumineer Foundation. Um, this is another one I asked for. It's just one I've been wanting to try. It's in bisque, which I'm worried might be a little dark now that I'm looking at it. Um, but if it's the wrong shape, we can always just exchange it. But I was really excited. I think this looks so good. I've seen, um, I think it was Nikki Tutorial said this was really, really good. And I like her foundation recommendations usually. So I'm really excited to try this out. I haven't tried any Laura Mercier foundation products ever. So I thought that would be a cool one to give a try to. And then I also received a Pat McGrath quad. This is the quad in Blitz Astral. That is the quad name. And it looks nice. I was so excited when she got me this. I think she heard me talk about these in a video, how pretty I thought they were. And I'm just so excited to use this. It looks like it's all of the, oh, okay. That's so sparkly and beautiful. I love Pat McGrath's um, more transformative shades. I think they're so, so beautiful. And I think these all look just stunning. Super, super pretty metallic sparkly quads. I was so excited to get this. So, so excited. So there's that. And then we also got, I also got the Pat McGrath, the Sublime Highlighting Skin Trio. I actually asked for this. Oh, I can't tell you. Oh, there's something happening that I'm announcing in four hours after this video goes live. Um, that is the reason that I wanted to get this. But this is a Pat McGrath highlighter palette and it looks like this. I've seen this so much and I've just all, I have a friend who has it. I already gouged it because I'm awful. Um, I really wanted it for this middle shade right here. This is the color Fine Gold. Okay, this is like next level. It's like blue, but also it's this one right here. It's the most unique highlighter I've ever seen in my entire life. It's like a blue, but also a gold, but also like it's 
it's like ten, but also kind of green. The duochrome on this is just absolutely insane. And so I did ask for this one because I was really excited about this. I also got the Huda Beauty uh, Mercury Retrograde Palette, and this I am literally so excited about. I have pretty much all the Huda palettes, except for not all the minis, obviously, but all of her big palettes I do own. And I actually usually get them for Christmas because she comes out with one every Christmas, like every year around Christmas time. And this one, I think, is just so, so beautiful. Like, I feel like this color story is so fun, so pretty. I can just picture the, like, so many cool looks I can make with this. The only thing I was a little disappointed by was that two of these do definitely look like pressed glitter which are just not my favorite thing in the world. No shade. Like, they're beautiful when you can make them work right, but I don't really like to work with them because they're difficult to work with. However, this palette looks so, so beautiful. I cannot wait to play with all of these shades. I think this is just so pretty. And the packaging is stunning. And then the final thing, my mom literally surprised me with this. My friend Lacey got this palette. It's the Lunar Beauty Strawberry Dreams palette from Mini MUA's brand. My friend Lacey got this palette and I told my mom, I was like, oh, Lacey said I would love this palette. Like I might buy it because Lacey thinks I would really like it. It's right up my, my alley, like color story wise. And then I got it for Christmas. My mom got it for me. Um, this is the Strawberry Dreams. It has this pretty like moon. The packaging in person is even more beautiful than it was online. I know people said like online that they love this packaging but like this is next level the moon is like three-dimensional <laughs> the actual palette is so pretty lacy is so right it also smells like strawberries which is a really nice touch lacy was 100 correct that this is a very me palette um i think too with like these blues i can make some cool looks and these reds in here and the shimmers like everything about this is a very me palette so i'm really really excited to have this and play with it and my mom's like the best and a few other things i got that i don't have with me because they're not like physical things things but my Charles's mom actually needed money to St. Jude's and my name which I freaking love that's like the best gift ever to donate like money in my name because I just thought that was really sweet and thoughtful she saw that I donated the money I never talked about this on my channel but I in October I sold spooky glow merch and all of the money went to St. Jude's we actually raised a thousand dollars to go to St. Jude's and I was able to donate that the, earlier this year I think I donated it at the end of November um and I posted it on all my social media I ended up being able to donate it and it, I was so proud of that. Like that was the coolest thing I've gotten to do is getting to donate money like that. Um, so she donated additional money to me in my name uh, to St. Jude's, which I thought was just so nice. And the other thing I want to add is I haven't gone to Charles's house yet, his like dad's side of the family. I, has, I haven't gone there yet. I'm filming this before I actually go there. So I'm probably going to get a few other things from them. They usually hook me up with gift cards. <laughs> They're like my gift card people. So I'm going to have more gift cards from them. Maybe I'll throw in an editing Hannah if I have time. But if not, um, I definitely will get gift cards from them and some good stuff from them too. I love Christmas so much. It's a really fun time of year for me. It was really exciting this year because I was able to buy the people I love really good stuff that I was really excited about. And just like, I hoped I, you know, it's always a good feeling to give. And also it's fun to obviously get things. <laughs> it's like cool. And I hope you guys all had a good Christmas. I know it can be really hard for some people and I know it stresses people out, but I hope you were able to put aside some of that stress and just have a good time. And even if you couldn't, at the end of the day, it's another, it's another day of the year. So I hope everybody had a good Christmas. Um, I love you guys so much. If you like this video, please like and subscribe or just like or just subscribe or do neither. Honestly, just so happy you're here watching me. Thank you so much for being here. My merch, my social media, and I'm wearing nothing on my face. I woke up at 7 a.m. and I just am filming this video now. Um, everything I am not wearing on my face will be linked down below. Maybe I'll link some of the makeup I got just so you guys, if you guys were interested in it, will be linked down below along with a link to register to vote. No better Christmas present to anyone than to register to vote. Um, and <laughs> so you can vote in your local, state, and federal elections. And if you're not from the United States and that link does not apply to you, please make sure you're staying informed on what's going on in your part of the world. Use your voice in a positive way because the world really needs more of that. I love you guys so much. Merry Christmas. I hope you guys had an amazing day and I will see you tomorrow for Glomus Day 26. We're going all the way to 31. I know some people stop at Christmas. Not I. I'm going all the way to New Year. You can't get rid of me that easy. Um, I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!